right, so as we were making this video, it was announced that Derek Chauvin, you know, the bad cop, has been arrested. So let's start with that first. Then we'll double back to the original video. And yeah, that's that. So verbatim. Minneapolis, WCCO. Fired Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has been arrested four days after George Floyd's fatal arrest that sparked protests, rioting, and outcry across the city and nation. And Henpin County attorney Mike Freeman announced he has been charged with murder and manslaughter, with the charges scheduled to be released shortly. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, on Friday, John Harrington, commissioner of the Minnesota Department of Public Safety, announced that Chauvin was taken into custody by the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension, who said that Chauvin was taken into custody in Minneapolis. There was some speculation that he had gone to a home in Florida. Mm, you're scared now, huh, buddy? Anyways, let's keep on reading. We have now been able to put together the evidence that we need, even as late as yesterday afternoon. We did not have all that we needed, Freeman said. Right. Before saying that, he was unable to speak to specific pieces of evidence and which one specifically was needed to file charges. This is by far the fastest that we've ever charged a police officer. It's about goddamn time. It should have happened the same time he killed him, but okay. Um, sorry y'all for the outburst. Freeman says the other officers involved are under investigation and he anticipates charges, but I'm not going to get into that, he said. Today, we're talking about former officer Chavin. Look, I can't pronounce his name, so I don't know if it's Chavin, Chavon, Chavin, Chavinci. Look, I don't really care too much for him as a person to pronounce his name correctly, so I'm gonna call him Coward, okay? C, C, both start with the C, so let's go. Coward is the former officer in the video seen around the world with his knee on Floyd's neck for at least five minutes, more like 10. He'd been with Minneapolis police for 19 years. Attorney General William Barr issued a statement Friday afternoon saying, the video images of the incident that ended with death of Mr. Floyd while in custody of Minneapolis police officers were harrowing to watch and deeply disturbing. The state prosecutor has been in the process of determining whether any criminal charges are appropriate under state law. On a separate and parallel track, the Department of Justice, including the FBI, are conducting an independent investigation to determine whether any federal civil rights laws were violated. Both state and federal officers are working diligently and collaboratively to ensure that any available evidence relevant to these decisions is obtained as quickly as possible. Under our system, charging decisions must be and will be based on the laws and facts. This process is proceeding quickly, okay, etc., etc. All right, so we're making some progress, you know, like, yeah, he's been arrested, but my thing about that is, why not arrest him on camera to prove it? Because the way I was guarding his home, all those, you know, cops, officers, whatever you call them, the way they was guarding his home so that he doesn't get attacked tells me that they're still trying to protect him. Look how many, look how many fuck people are defending the killer's house. They're defending a murderer's house! So, like, if you're going to arrest somebody who did such a thing that's so national right now and so worldwide, why not arrest him on camera to prove that he's in cuffs and in custody? If anything, yeah, y'all got him, but y'all didn't really arrest him. Y'all just took him out very, you know, smoothly. Y'all probably took him to Burger King and Domino's Pizza. Y'all probably gave him pina colada before y'all, you know, brought him in, for all we know. I mean, shit, George ain't even do nothing, and he got kneeled on. Uh, Cops give a damn about a need, bro. But this dude, whatever, yo, look. We're making some progress, you know what I'm saying? No justice, no peace. Honestly, it's not enough yet. It's good that he's charged with murder, though, because that's exactly what it was. But in my opinion, in my humble opinion, the murder should never happen to begin with. Like, it's far past no justice, no peace to me. I feel as though, why are you people out there murdering people who are other human beings who ain't even do shit? And even if they did, that's not grounds to kill them. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, let's move right into the original video that I was working on. Let's go, because I don't want to get too mad. So it has been going down for the past few days now since 
against George Floyd's murder at the hands or knees rather of Derek Chauvin, 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 Chicken, Coward, whatever his name is. It definitely don't get no respect around here, right? But yeah, ever since that went viral, protesters who are sick and tired and sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired of unarmed innocent black people being killed left and right have been looting and rioting, which is only because, like I said before, they are completely through, over it, and at their wit's end. So on top of burning down businesses the other night, last night they have successfully burned down the third precinct, the Minneapolis police station in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. The same station that the police were guarding with their lives and shields the previous night. If y'all recall, I posted that earlier in the previous post. Well, they got it. And I can't say I'm mad at that. I don't agree with them burning down businesses. That's totally crazy, especially local businesses. You know what I'm saying? But I can't get mad that they're burning down something that's not a human being. They burned down a building with no humans in it. You see what I'm saying? The same building that the police officer worked in or whatever like that. And he took an innocent life just because the person was black and had dark skin, had African roots. That's stupid. So I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys to appease to a certain crowd and pretend like I'm mad at that. No, I'm not. Like I said, I don't agree with them burning businesses down, especially local black owned businesses, things like that. They're local stuff, but I understand their pain. But with this right here, I don't condone it either, but I can't be mad because they did not kill nobody. All lives who work in that building are preserved. Okay. George Floyd, he can never come back. He's gone for no reason. That probably wasn't even counterfeit, but that's a whole nother story. Let's get back to what I was saying. But really, that's the problem with Americans, certain Americans, like they value um, possessions more than human beings, more than human life. A dog means more than a black person. A building, a precinct means more than black lives that don't matter to y'all. That's crazy. Y'all are so much into capitalism, it's, it's ridiculous. Like what? Who cares about the building? It's speaking a message, a broader message, like stop killing black people for no reason. There's no reason to even kill them to begin with. Like there's no reason. When you arrest somebody, you arrest them. That's law, that's lawful. But you, to kill them, that's crazy. You never see a white man who just committed a mass murder ever, ever in the history of America ever get shot down. They just killed 30 people, 100 people for no reason. And they get driven to Burger King, McDonald's, they get water. They get fast food, they get hugged. Anyways, like I was saying, yeah, I'm mad. Uh-huh, I'm big mad. And if you're human, you should be too. But anyways, because of this precinct being burnt down, the so-called president, number 45, or Donald Duck, or whatever his name is, has fixed his chubby orange Twitter fingers to type something unbelievable. He tweeted, and I quote, these thugs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd, and I won't let that happen. Just spoke to Governor Tim Walz and told him that the military is with him all the way. Any difficulty, and we will assume control, but when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Thank you. Wow, really? Really? <laughs> Did he just... Mm. Anyways, clearly... As you guys may have imagined, that definitely violates Twitter rules. So Twitter initially removed that tweet, but they put it back up because it's something that everybody needs to see, especially those in Minneapolis. So Twitter did censor the tweet and it says, this tweet violated the Twitter rules about glorifying violence. However, Twitter has determined that it may be in the public's interest for the tweet to remain accessible. Yup, that's correct. He really said when the looting starts, the shooting starts. This y'all president? This who y'all racist and bigots went for? Is this why? I mean, he puts on a good facade, but he doesn't even really know if he's with us or against us. Pick a side, pick a side. This man, if that's even what he is, just really called for a violent act on people who are protesting for a cause, a senseless loss of human life, a hate crime by a hate-filled racist who wants to make whites great again. Really? And who do you think he calling thugs though? Let's please set the record straight right now. If my 2020 vision is correct, more than half of these protesters are white. Look, I mean, footage doesn't lie. Are you dumb? Did you know that, Donnie, that they're white? You calling for the shooting down of your own precious people? Come to think about it, that's probably why the local police haven't done anything yet to these protesters because they look out in the crowd and see that it's half of them writing. <laughs> And again, big ups and big shout outs to the decent white people out there who are not being like these cold hearted white devils like Derek Chauvin or whatever his name is. Instead, y'all being human and y'all standing with the black people because at the end of the day, there's only one race and y'all recognize it. And that's the human race. I tip my hats off to y'all. Y'all realize that we're all one and the same. At the end of the day, we all come here the same way and we all leave the same way. 
what's our country's motto again united we stand divided we fall so with that being said all you biggest trying to start a race war that's been trying to ignite one for years y'all gonna regret it when it really begins because y'all swear you're not gonna be affected too are you dumb nobody is invincible on top of that you're only further ruining the mental health of your own children think about it they are watching your every move they may pretend to be on your side now and some really may be but at the end of the day they're tired too and it's no telling once they rebel against you <laughs> i'm just saying people are waking up across the world these kids already are mentally drained from being in the house from covid alone and now y'all trying to rage war that's really going to put people on more lockdown and then it's going to get to the point where essential workers ain't going to work no more meaning no more food for you and your own precious family okay think about that you ever think about that and that's the most important thing you need who's going to want to go to work if there's war out there y'all not thinking like put your thinking cap on it's going to affect y'all more than us y'all gonna be confined to the house you're gonna be stuck in the house with your nagging ass wife you can't go out and cheat on her with your little cute mistress with the blonde hair <laughs> so in other words y'all are literally playing russian roulette and i'm gonna leave it at that i need to stop Stop poking at the bear and then get mad when the bear pokes back. And especially you, Donald Duck. You need to be ordering the arrest of the bad evil cop, Derek Chauvin. Chauvin, Chivin, Chavon, whatever his name is, like I keep saying. Instead of trying to shoot down people who are standing up for a cause when they were the ones being shot down for 400 years. I see no changes. All I see is racist faces. I wonder what it takes to make this. One better place, let's see race the waste. Mind you, half of these people who you ordering to shoot, like I said, are your own people. But I mean, you're too busy being Twitter fingers to realize it you want more so bad just when you thought you were about to get the next election with these votes because of them stimulus checks <laughs> you thought good job and i'm done you big dummy please excuse my ratchetness sometimes it comes out of me when i'm upset but yeah burn it down we burning it down we burning it down Woo! burning it down baby burning it down Burning it down, fuck it, fuck it, shoot them bitches. Burn it down, 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 burn it down. George Floyd, 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 George Floyd. Yeah, we burning. Hey, justice is not served till we get an attorney. Take them to trial. Fuck Burn it to the ground. Burn it to the ground. Burn it to the ground. Burn it to the ground! Y'all feel us now! Y'all feel us now! Feel us now! No! Okay, so this just in. As of 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday, May 29, they have just updated and said that Derek Coward has just been charged with third-degree murder and manslaughter. So it's official. He has been charged with third-degree murder and manslaughter. Personally, I think he should be charged with first-degree murder, but that's neither here nor there. I guess we're making progress. I guess the courts will fight, the law, all that, even though it's always unfair. It is what it is. That's the way it is. They feel us now. They feel us now. What are y'all thinking overall? Leave your thoughts below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. Also, be sure to visit TalkYourShirt.com. There's some new inventory. They got the fuck Corona shirts out, which come with free masks. So put your order in today. PettyBlog.com signing off.